How the hell am I supposed to drink the water from here? What's up YouTube? It's kind of early in the morning, uh, just having my black coffee before I start training. There's a lot of brushing the teeth. Say hello. You're calling brown about coffee. I'm a blogging about how I'm having my black coffee before we go to the gym. It's an excellent pre-workout, the top. If you can call it the top. It doesn't even look black. It's black. It's brown. There's no sugar, nothing. It's just the way I like it. So in the gym today, I've got my chest and arms workout hypertrophy day, so relatively lightweight. Here I'm doing some warm-up exercises for the shoulders and before I start my first exercise of the incline bench, dumbbell bench press I do a couple of uh, warm-up sets with lighter weights working up to the weight that I'm going to use. I think here I'm using 30 kilos and this is the actual set, the actual weight that I'm going to be using, 36 kilos. Um, because it's my hypertrophy day I try to get between 8 to 15 reps. I think here I get 12. <clears throat> so you can see that I try and get a full stretch at the bottom and all the way to the top. Nice and controlled. Uh, please excuse my croaky voice. Uh, I seem to have woken up with a bit of a sore throat today. Alright, that's how you get up at the bounce. Right, and then hypertrophy day, I usually tend to rotate between chest, bicep and triceps. So next I'm doing bicep creature curls. You're trying to get full stretch at the bottom, contraction at the top. The only thing that should be moving are your, your hands, so your forearms. Uh, try and make the most of the biceps during the exercise. And then for my first tricep exercise I do overhead tricep extensions. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you've probably seen me doing this before. So a full stretch at the bottom to activate the long head of the tricep and then a full extension at the top, nice and controlled. Okay, so back to chest, I do a cable uh, chest fly, so a full stretch at the top and then trying to contract only my chest, uh, making sure I squeeze at the bottom. I think here I go for 15 reps. Alright, back to biceps, I do, I did a incline dumbbell bicep curl. Uh, the reason I do this is because I like the feeling of the stretch I get at the bottom. Because you're sitting back, your arms are hanging straight down, so your arms are behind you at the bottom, which uh, creates a nice stretch at the bottom, it's quite painful too. Okay, back to triceps, I do a tricep push down. So trying not to lean too far forwards all the way up, all the way down, making sure I squeeze my triceps at the bottom. Nice and controlled. Alright, and then to finish off, I do a close grip bench press for the triceps mainly, um, but also the chest. Uh, here I did 15 reps. I just wanted to finish them off, basically, at the end of the workout. I think I did a couple of sets of these, so nothing too crazy. Uh, here I'm using 60 kilos, so it's quite light relative to the weight that I use normally. Yeah, finish that out. Just got back from the gym. Uh, I don't have that much time before I have to go to work, so my post workout meal will be. Whey protein with some oatmeal. Here I have the Dermatized Nutrition Elite Whey Protein, uh, van gourmet vanilla flavor. Uh, I don't think I've tried this flavor before, but I've had the other ones before, like cinnamon bun and the butter cream toffee flavor, I think, uh, and the chocolate, and they were all pretty good. So all gone.
I got some spinach cheese tortellini for my protein. I'm gonna get a pork chop. And here's the finished product: uh, a pork chop with spinach tortellini and actual spinach, which was frozen and I cooked in the microwave for about four minutes. I also got a chop, and it's such a I'm looking out the window. Seven my morning oats. Just on there.